This is Supreme King, and today I have a Yu-Gi-Oh! opening for you today. And I'm going to be opening up three of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Yugi Moto structure deck and three of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Seto Kaiba structure deck. So as you can see here, I've got three of each deck here to open up for you. Um, so I'll just I'll open up all these here on uh, camera, at least out of the box. I don't know if I'll open them out of the uh, uh, plastic though, because you know they're all the same cards though. So I'll start the Kaiba deck first. Um, so just so you know, all the cards in these decks, you know, are the same though. Too, of course, different in each one, of course. But uh, the only the, the the thing where I'm saying that is too is because uh, when I opened up the Legendary decks too, uh, one of the Joey decks had two of the blacks on Legends in it, and you're, and you're only supposed to get one. So yeah. So, that was a good fact error, factory error, but uh, yeah, so I ended up getting four of the blocks and legends, so yeah, that was, huh, that was really awesome and it was unexpected, so I kind of wish I'd open those on camera here though too, but uh, yeah, um, but also just a quick update, I've not forgotten about the uh, hero and number uh, binder collection videos, I've not forgotten about those too, I've uh, just been busy with some things too, and uh, also waiting to see stuff coming up too, because you know you got the Destiny Soldier set coming up next month, the new Destiny Heroes. Um, you know, just a bunch of new Yu Gi Oh stuff coming up too, and it's been like keeping a tra keeping track on these things there too, and uh, and same deck profiles too. I haven't forgot about those too. I have to go through my decks, and because uh, with the new ban list change, it was like now I can have two more gold sarcophagus, so I'll have to go through that too, and, and just seeing what like I said, what new cards are coming out there too, because I'm looking for that that uh, pot of avidity card in the next set too. You get like three of those, so uh, yeah. And of course, been wanting to get these decks too, because now I can actually finish my uh, my uh, A to Z uh, deck, because the rest of the cards are in here too, and almost for a Magnet Warrior deck. So now I'm just I only need just that one spell and trap card. They're both supers and duels pack rivals the Pharaoh. So I have not forgotten about those videos. I will get around to those at some point. Um, so yeah, I will go with opening the uh, Kaiba deck. This is my of course my favorite one, because I'm a huge Kaiba fan. So new X Y Z machines. So yeah, this has the new um, A to Z Dragon Buster cannon and the new ABC Dragon Buster and of course all the other new cards too. And my favorite part about this deck too, it has a new uh, Blue Eyes current too, so. Uh, I've ordered in uh, three of Invasion Vengeance, uh, three of the Invasion Vengeance boxes that come out November 4th, so I'll be doing three of those too. And that's the new set, um, and I'll be doing three boxes of Destiny Soldiers that comes out uh, also next month, and I'll be doing two boxes of Invasion, Vengeance, uh, Invasion, Invasion, Vengeance Special Edition. So, so that'll be the rest of the openings for this year. Of course, out of the deck you get you know your beginner's guide, and you get the mat, which I'll actually open this up here. So one side is the paper play mat, and then the reverse side is, of course, um, you know, strategies how to help build it up there too. Um, of course, the only thing this doesn't like it, it does list uh, that there too to get the rest, the, like to get that card, like the Y Z though, which is why they only put that in there. But they they also need to they also need to remember too. There's also the the V and the W cards and the VW fusion and the V to Z fusion card too. So, um, hope there's an easy tab to get in here. Yeah, but these decks are really awesome. All these new awesome cards for the uh, XYZ cards and the Magnet Warriors and even the new Blue Eyes card and the new Dark Mission card too. So. So first off, you get the A to Z Dragon Buster Cannon as an Ultra. That looks really, really awesome there. Then you get the ABC Dragon Buster. Also looks awesome. That also is an Ultra. And then for the Super you get A Assault Core, B Buster Drake, and C Crush Wyvern. So those are all new cards. Uh, heavy Mech Support Armor. I believe that's also a new card too. So more Union cards. Then you get X Head Cannon, Y Dragon Head, Z Metal Tank. Z Metal Tank. Uh, heavy Mech Support Platform, Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is the uh, artwork where he's attacking, though. I believe that was a, uh, that's a good reprint there. Uh, Kaiser Glider, Lord of D, 
Vampire Lord, Enraged Battle Ox, Death's Feral Limp, Pet and Dark Clan to get two of those, Interplanetary Purple Thorny Dragon, Blizzard Dragon, Keeper of the Shrine, Luster Dragon, and Union Hanger, and also in our new card for uh, those uh, Light Machine Union monsters like this deck here. And then there's the there's a new Blue Eyes card, which is a really awesome card. Majesty with Eyes of Blue, and yes, I do need, of course, three of these because I've been using this in my Blue Eyes deck, and it's a really good card. You know, you can stop your opponent's monster from attacking and also send a Blue Eyes from your hand or deck to the graver, so that's also good. And it's a quick play spell, so that's also a really good card, too. Burst Strain Destruction. I just love the artwork on that, too. Uh, Flute of So Many Dragons, Silent Doom, Shrink, Enemy Controller, Megamorph, Limited Removal, Frontline Base. Union Scramble, another new card for the uh, your Light Machine Union Monsters. Crush Card Virus, Negate Attack, Ring Destruction, Interdimensional Matter Transporter, Cloning, Final Attack Orders, Call the Haunted, Rollout, Venus Chain, you get XYZ Dragon Cannon, and then you get two of my favorite reprints in here too, which is XY Dragon Cannon and XZ Tank Cannon, so that will help finish off my uh, v to Z, or I guess it's now A to Z, deck. And yeah, with all these, with this month, this has been an awesome month too, you know, you get, get Leisure decks too, so you're getting those, uh, getting those new decks. And then you're getting these structure decks too, so that's like a lot of awesome decks too though, so cards are always going to be guaranteed. And I highly recommend, like, as I said, the Legend X2, where I recommend getting three of these. These things I recommend three of each two, if you can. So three of the Yugi deck and three of the Kaiba deck. So, of course, the Yugi deck, you get the Yugi Moto, well, the Beginner's Guide. And then, of course, the Playmat. I'll open this up for you. And the Magnet Warriors have, would have to be my favorite rock monsters. I think that's the only, well, this, well I do like the Gorgonic cards too, but... Back in the original era, the Magnet Warriors were like my favorite rock cards because they look really cool. I'm so glad to see they got more cards. I'm so, so there's the new mats. That's got the uh, new Magnet Warrior. That's the Fusion Monster on the front there. And then there's the new Dark Mission artwork there. So that's really cool there. And then you have the uh, the backside show you where I get some more cards out of two. And those are the two cards I was talking about, the Spell and Trap card too. I just need one of each more of those, and that's... Uh, Magnet Force and Magnet Reverse. It's already got two of each, just need one more. Then I can actually do that <laughs> Magnet Warrior deck profile <laughs> if I wanted to, or make the deck. It's too bad they didn't put those in there, but you know the way Konami is, they want to make go out and it's just uh, go out and get those packs too. So, I, oh, they're probably pretty cheap though. The reason why I like the Magnet Warrior is because, as you may know, I use Valkyrie and the Magnet Warrior in my uh, Evil Hero deck for Dark Gaia. So this is really cool to see more cards of them, too. So, uh, first off, you have Empyrean Magnum, the Superconduct of Battlebot as an Ultra Rare. That's where you fuse Valkyrie and the Magnet Warrior with the new, Bers with, uh, new Berserkion, the Electro Magnum Warrior. Then you got Burst Berserkian, the Electro uh, Magnet Warrior, both as Ultra Rares. And then for the Super Rares, you got Alpha, the Electro Magnet Warrior, Beta, the Electro Magnet Warrior, and Gamma, the Electro Magnet Warrior. So the, the old Magnet Warrior is now his new cards. And then, of course, you get a new Kribo card, so that's Kreeborn, which helps with that Kribo deck. Then you get Valkyrie and the Magnet Warrior, good reprint there. Alpha, the Magnet Warrior, Beta, the Magnet Warrior, Gamma, the Magnet Warrior. Then you get the new Dark Magician artwork, which looks really awesome. You got Dark Magician Girl, Buster Blader, Jack Knight, Queen's Knight, King's Knight, Barfamet, Gazelle the King of Mythical Beasts, Obnoxious Celtic Guard, Giant Soldier Stone, Karibo, Skilled Dark Magician, Skilled Light Magician, Twin Head Behemoth, the new uh, card for the Magnet Warriors, which is Magnetic Field, and the new Dark Magician card, which is Dark Magic Inheritance, which is a really good card for the deck. 
And that can also uh, help out the Dark Mission Girl deck too. Uh, dark Magic Attack, Dark Magic Curtain, Mystic Box, Swords of Revealing Light, Spell Shattering Arrow, Palmerization, Defusion, Swords of Concealing Light, Attack the Moon, and here's the, our new Magnet Warrior card, just Magnet Conversion, Magician Circle, Mirror Force, Magic Cylinder, Soul Rope, Rock Bombardment, and then here's the Fusions. You get a new artwork to Arcana Knight Joker, which looks really awesome. You get Dark Paladin, Chimera the Fly Medical Beast, and my favorite reprint from this, though, is Buster Blair the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman, which this was a completely unexpected reprint, though, but it's an awesome reprint because I still need, like, one or two more of these, so I have that now, so... That's awesome. It would have been cool if they put the new Buster Blader in there and the new Buster Dragon. But uh, yeah, those are uh, both the decks here. I'm just going to open the other ones here too. And yeah, I'm just really loving to see all these new cards for the uh, original Series 2. And and hearing about that, um, there's the new Elemental Hero Honesty Neos coming out too. That's awesome to hear. And of course, we're getting new, that mask to your blast in English. Finally, that's awesome to hear as well, too. There's a lot of awesome stuff to hear from, you know, like the original series and GX and stuff like that going on, too. So that's always nice to hear. So, so there's the other two uh, Yugi decks there. Try and get these all on frame here. Kaibadek there. And there's the last Kaibadek there too. So that should be all the decks there, trying to get them all in frame there. So yeah, I I'm trusting that these ones are done properly so it's not like the Joey decks in the last one to get some extra ultra rare of this card or ultra rare of that card or something. Cause <laughs> but uh, yeah, and the nice thing about these two with Christmas coming around too, these also make good Christmas gift ideas too like this and even the uh, Legendary decks uh, too, so, which is some ideas it's given me as well too. So yeah, as I said, I highly recommend these decks. I love, I love to see some new cards for... Uh, these older decks too, and even the stuff like they're planning to do pretty soon as well too. So yeah, we're looking forward to this too. And like I said, um, I will get around to those deck profiles at some point and uh, those uh, hero and number minor collections too at some point as well too. So anyway, um, that's it for this opening. This is Spring King, signing off. Get your game on.